So uh, this video we're going to go through uh, disassembling the Crucis uh, wheel so I can get the disc rotor off and then mounting it onto the Bafang uh, rotor. Um, so first thing I'm going to, so I'll just take this, this off here so I can get to the bolts a little bit easier. Pull this back together. So we're going to use our uh, disc rotor key. This is my bicycle tool. There's the rotor. So we're going to put this bike, this very nice rim aside. Okay, so we're going to uh, mount the rear rotor to the new Bafang hub. And one thing to note is the screws that come on the uh, Crucis, these screws right here are a little bit too long. They'll bottom out actually in the Bafang motor. For whatever reason, uh, Bafang didn't drill these holes down deep enough. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to apply some lock wa washers. It, it's just very slightly off in the depth. So these will help tighten up the uh, rotor correctly using the bolts that came originally on the Crucis. It may be that uh, Your Bafang motor may have had the these bolts drilled out a little bit deeper. That would be nice, but uh, these bolts that I have, for whatever reason, bottom out just a millimeter or so before it actually tightens up on the rotor. So we're going to screw these bolts in, tighten everything up. Alright, so now we have a fully tightened down rotor. Alright, let's take a look and see how it lines up on the bicycle. So one of the things we've uh, noticed here is that the dropouts are a little too narrow for the diameter of the Bafang um, uh, you know, bolt that holds this thing together. So if you actually try to sink this in here, the dropouts are going to be kind of line up the flat sides here and it doesn't actually slide down. It's just a hair too narrow for the diameter of this through bolt here. So we're gonna take a metal file and we're gonna file down the insides of the dropouts just enough so that motor can just slip right into there. So we're gonna do that here like this. And see how it fits with just a little bit of metal shaved off on either side. Look at that, slides in perfectly. It's amazing that all of this spins freely. It fits perfect. Might need a, just a hair of an adjustment on the uh, disc caliper here. Need to move it in a little bit. But, so now that I know that this all is going to fit correctly, I'm going to put the tire on, uh, inner tube. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the tire and uh, tube off of the old rim and uh, put it on the new rim. I'm going to use uh, a slime super thick self-sealant tube here, uh, just because once this is all put together on the bike, um, I really don't want to get a flat and have to change a uh, tire with these bolts and all the electrical connections. So, um, you know, another option is, is just to use the same tube and then squirt some sealant in here. But I've, I've really, uh, we have a lot of thorns where we live and, and uh, having these super thick self-sealing tubes really helps a lot. So we're going to uh, put this aside and I'm going to take off the tire off the old rim. You can see here real quickly, um, the diameter, or rather the width of the rims are almost identical, so that's a good thing. All 
All right, so now we have a fully inflated tire, the hub with its disc rotor on there, and a super thick self-sealing puncture resistant slime tube. So this thing should be pretty bulletproof and hopefully I will never have to change the tire while on a commute or something. Okay, so we filed out the rear drops just a tad so that the diameter of the, the Fang motor um, bolt here can slide right in. Fits perfectly, the brake rotor's lined up correctly. And so now what we're gonna do is put in these little metal sleeves here that we have, one of these right here, and we're gonna put this one right here on this side. And we're gonna do something special on the other side. We're gonna put the torque arm on the other side of the motor. All right, so we're going to put uh, the torque arm on the side with the brake caliper because there's a very convenient way for that torque arm to connect uh, without using a C-clamp that a lot of uh, uh, bike um, uh, electric do-it-yourself kits normally do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on this way like this. And as I mentioned before, I drilled out this torque arm, the one that I purchased. Uh, the bolt here on one side of it was a little bit too small. We drilled it out with a quarter inch drill bit. So this bolt fits through just like that. And uh, it'll actually mount and um, onto the uh, rear caliper as it normally, should, as it normally would. So we're just gonna finger tight everything in here. Finger tight to make sure everything lines up correctly. Oh, see I did that wrong already. Uh, we're going to put this on the inside like that. There we go. So it's nice that the Fang kit comes with so many washers. I think they know and realize that uh, you need to make some adjustments as you're tightening everything up here. That looks like it's gonna do it. So I'm gonna tighten this up on the rear caliper just a little bit more. And uh, tighten that up. Put another bolt on here. And that should go on like this. So this is the way it's set up right here. And that's how that mounts. All right, so we're going to do the other side here. I'm gonna use a locking uh, uh, nut that came with the Fang motor. Put that in there, slide that into the slot. And then we're gonna be using four different bolts right here. So this is going to be, uh, these are spacer bolts so that this nut can completely tighten this up. So we're going to tighten that up like that. Tighten this up and make sure the alignment stays true, it's spinning correctly, perfectly with the, uh, with the hydraulic brake. So that's perfect. So now I should probably just be able to tighten this up and it should be all perfect where we want it. Yep, perfect. We're just going to continue to tighten this up. Like that. Excellent. Perfect. So there you have it. You're going to have to finesse this based on how everything aligns on your Crisis. I'd recommend getting some washers. I'll put the information about the size of washers you should get. Just get a pack and you can adjust everything appropriately. Yeah, this is how it is on the other side. Just like that.